This evening, the Minnesota House is debating an emergency aid package for more than 100,000 Minnesotans who've been hit by huge spikes in their monthly health care premiums. State lawmakers are rushing to get a plan in place before the open enrollment period ends on January 31st. Uh, Pat Kessler is at the Capitol and he joins us now with more. Hi, Pat. Hi, Amelia. Yeah, 125,000 Minnesotans are facing monthly premium rate hikes up to 68 percent. These folks are not rich, but they do make too much money to get those tax subsidies to help lower their monthly premiums. And now they're running out of time. State lawmakers all agree they want to deliver 25% rebates to families hit hard by the rate hikes, but they can't agree on how to help. And Republicans are now trying to include health care reforms to a system they never liked. There is language in here that will help people get to a doctor closer and, and help people continue uh, what potentially could be a life-saving uh, cancer treatment or other treatments. The House bill provides 25 percent monthly premium rebates administered by the state based on income. The more you make, the less of a rebate you get. Governor Mark Dayton says that income testing is too time-consuming. He wants insurance companies to simply deduct 25 percent from the consumer's bills. At a press conference Wednesday, Democratic leaders said Republicans are playing politics with people. Okay, they won the election. They have the House. They have the Senate. This was a hot topic in the election. Okay, so take your win and feel good about that. But now let's do relief and not hold these families up. One of those families is Sherry Sexton's, a dairy farmer whose premiums rose $600 a month and who says she's had enough of Republicans and Democrats. You know, it, it makes everybody disgusted. Um, beyond that point, you know, what else can you do? Well, the Minnesota House is debating this right now. We expect them to debate it into the night to, before they pass this bill, and we do expect it to pass. But there has been a surprising amount of animosity over this, something that everybody agrees needs to be done. Send emergency help to these folks who need it. But it looks like right now, Amelia, it's going to be at the end of next week at the earliest before they reach any kind of agreement. All right. Well, let's hope they do reach an agreement. Okay, Pat. Yep. Thank you. You bet.